Hi everybody, it's Lauren, the park naturalist here at the Anita C. Light Estuary Center in Harford County, Maryland. And we're also with the Harford County Parks and Rec Department. And today I have another uh, episode of Meet a Critter. And this is an animal that a lot of people get excited about. If you're out in the woods walking around, uh, you might get lucky enough to stumble upon one. Um, they are kind of hard to find if you're looking for them because they do blend in really well. And this would be the Eastern Box Turtle. Eastern Box Turtles are one of the few turtles in the world that can close their shell completely like a box. So under their plastron here, they have a little door. So this is their door right here. And I like to say this is the hinge on the door. And when this turtle is afraid, that she will pull everything inside. This is a really great adaptation for them because their shell, if you can hear it, is made of bone and it protects them. Now, another thing a lot of people notice about box turtles are their coloration. So right now I'm sitting in a forest and the reason is because box turtles, their home is the forest. They are land turtles. They spend most of their life on land. They're not um, adapted to swimming. And um, you can easily tell that by their feet. So when you look at her foot, you'll see that she has sort of like, like toes, you know? There's no webbing like our uh, terrapin has. So these, her feet are made for walking on the forest floor and digging for her food. Um, and you'll also notice on her legs, she has these really cool scales. And these scales, I like to say, act like her shoes. Because when you're walking around in the forest, you're gonna be walking on sticks and leaves and rocks, so you need to be able to protect your feet. They are omnivores, so they eat plants and animals. They do not have teeth, so they have a beak. That's what we call their, their mouth, is a turtle beak, and their beak is what they use to kind of cut up their food. Um, so I'll show you a picture here of what that beak looks like. And so we know this is a female because um, there are two ways to tell. The first way would be her eyes. Their eyes are usually brownish yellow. So I'm gonna try and get her close to the camera here so you can get a good view of her eyes if it'll focus. And you'll notice, <laughs> she's like, hi. <laughs> you'll notice that her eyes are a darker color. And I will show you what a male's eyes look like. Now the best way to tell if you have a boy or a girl box turtle is by their plastron, which is the bottom part of their shell. A male's plastron is going to dip inward, and the female, this one, her shell is more flat. So I'll get her close so you can sort of see it's very flat. So box turtles have a really unique thing with their scoots. As their shell grows with them, because turtles can't take off their shells, as their shells grow with them, they get rings on each of these scoots, which are these little plates. And each ring represents each year. So just like the ring on trees, the ring on these scoots will tell you how old the turtle is. Eastern box turtles have about a one square mile radius that they explore in the forest that they live in. They spend their entire life in that area. So we call that their home range. That basically means that if they're taken from their home range, they're gonna try and go back to their home range. Um, so for example, say you took a box turtle from Gunpowder Falls State Park and you dropped it off here at the Estuary Center. That turtle is gonna try and turn around and go back to Gunpowder. Now, if there weren't any people and there weren't roads and there weren't neighborhoods, that might be a little bit easier for the turtle. But because of the way we have developed our land, these guys don't really stand a chance once they've been moved. So it's really important that if you ever find one out in the wild to make sure that you leave it where you found it, um, that is its home. And so, you know, it's gonna do the best in that area. Also, this time of year in the spring, when turtles are trying to find a mate and they're looking to um, lay eggs and usually getting into the summertime, uh, they're gonna be moving around a little bit more. And not just box turtles, but other turtles in general. If you're near the water, you're gonna see this with some aquatic turtles. Um, so you'll try, you'll see them possibly trying to cross the street. Um, one really cool thing to do to help them is just get out if it's safe and help them cross the street. So get them to the side they're headed to. They'll be pretty happy if you're helping them get out of that sort of danger zone. 
All right, so that is a little bit about the Eastern box turtle that I wanted to share with you today in our Meta Critter. Um, there's plenty more information out there, so I encourage you to go online and read a little bit more about them. They're really, really interesting animals. Um, and once the center is back and opened up, we hope that you can come and visit us and say hello to our box turtles that we have here at the Estuary Center. Um, I'm going to go and put this turtle back in her enclosure because you can tell she's getting a little bit annoyed with me holding her. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in and we will be um, checking back in soon with some more videos. So we hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and uh, we'll talk soon. Okay.